let's call it the world. The world. All right, so do you want to go first? Well, um, I did want to talk about like, how everything, like, at certain points, your body just might feel tired, and that even even if you're not tired, you might actually start feeling tired, and the thought will be, I am tired, but that's not your thought. And that's something I've come to understand from being in some dense environments. Sometimes when I'm there, I'll feel so tired. And then I'll leave there, and after about half an hour, I'm like, wow, I'm not actually tired. I'm actually fine. Yeah. So that's the thing with density and dense environments. Or, and what I mean by that is just a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of other people that are constantly in a reactionary state or constantly on the go, 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 go. I have to do this. I have to do that. That kind of creates a wake or energy field that is, um, that can impact others in a, in a way that doesn't feel good. So that's what I mean by dense. That's, I think that's what you mean by dense as well. Um, also a lot of lower vibrational fields like anger, rage, resentment, guilt, shame. These are kinds of fields that people can hold within themselves. And when you're around that, it just doesn't feel all too pleasant. But uh, in order to maintain yourself in the world today, as a lot of those vibrations are starting to come up for people, it becomes critical to, to really take that moment for yourself and realize that those are not your thoughts or feelings. Uh, that you can be wherever you are and you're fine in that moment. And that, that's a really powerful thing to realize in the moment. Yeah, it's, it really helped me to kind of know that today because I woke up at around 5.45. I was like pretty awake. And I stayed in bed cuddling you for a while and I... I ended up waking up and just feeling like pretty energized for a couple different projects I have unrelated to whatever happens for money, but just about things in general. I was just pretty happy about stuff, and so I started doing that. And then I go into the office, and at 8 a.m. there's a meeting that we all have, and I just felt so tired, so tired. And I started yawning, and it was weird because I knew that I was just so awake earlier. Like, I didn't understand why I just felt so tired. And then, like, I had to stay in the office um, for a while after that. And I just, I remember just feeling so, so, so tired. And then um, afterwards, like, I realized, like, again, that wasn't, it's not me. Right. And I feel like a lot of us might be in environments where it just helps us to realize that whatever thoughts are happening, whatever feelings are happening, might not be ours. Yeah, I have a great example of that. Uh, I used to work in a place, uh, in an office setting, where uh, there was a person there who, I rem he would sit behind me, you know, a cubicle behind me, and I remember when he was there, I would have all these thoughts running through my head, mm. and it, it was very confusing, and they were kind of paranoid thoughts, like... Uh, they might catch me if I check my email on my computer or because it was kind of a strict environment. And um, but I, I recall he actually got let go. He got fired. Uh, and then I realized about a week later that I hadn't had those thoughts happen all that week. And I recognized that those weren't even my thoughts at that point, that all of those vibrational fields that this person was holding, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and he did seem to be a very... Um, kind of standoffish paranoid guy he didn't want anyone touching his stuff he didn't want he, there was just a lot of of um density within his aura and so these fields that people carry that we sit in meetings with at work or that we are around can absolutely affect us right and i learned that firsthand in that way right and so i feel like with the heightened awareness of the world right now that a lot of people are starting to have and who are probably very proficient at having, they might start noticing 
more of this kind of activity, more thought forms being flung around, more, just more of it. But this is not to overwhelm anyone. This is not to overwhelm me. This is not to overwhelm you. This is not to overwhelm anyone listening. It's just an awareness that we can hold, that we can maintain our truth, our light. Yeah, I I definitely feel as though there will be more climactic shifts and, you know, as the earth changes. Well, there, she's like waking up. Yes. There will be more volcanoes going off. There will be more earthquakes. And that's just like the physicalized movements. There will also be a lot of um, migrations happening as the climate shifts and droughts occur and people have to navigate for whatever governmental or climactic reason to different regions. And we'll certainly be able to feel that in our emotional bodies uh, as that happens if well, if you're not managing yourself. Exactly. I was about to say, you'll you'll be reactive if you don't. And or, that's not... I mean, like, everybody is reactive from time to time. And don't beat yourself up about it. Like, there have been times where I've, like, picked something up and, like, released it hours later just to realize I didn't need that. I didn't need that at all. And I think that's what makes this exhaustion real for me. Because, like, it's like I'm aware of all of it, yet I feel like... To be still in that environment is amazing. So, yeah. and I feel like that's the exhaustion. It's kind of like a coalescing of that because the exhaustion is not mine. Right. Like, and I know that. So I guess I think the key piece, and what I'm hearing from from my guidance, what I've heard often is that there's a still point within every human heart, and it takes a bit of practice to find it. It's that space in meditation where you feel good during the meditation and you're just enjoying yourself. But it doesn't have to be in meditation. It can be in your everyday walking around space. It's called the still point. And when you focus on that still point, suddenly, if if you get well-versed in this, you, you can begin to feel as if everything is happening around you, but it's not happening to you. Yeah. It's not impacting you. It's not hitting you and you're feeling exhausted and you're like, oh my gosh, what is this? Or you're feeling reactive mm-hmm. because someone came in yelling in the office you know, or whatever. But if you can find and stay in that still point, then everything somewhat becomes amusing. It, it becomes, in the very least, it, it's not affecting you. You can simply observe it. And then it can become amusing from that stance as well. And that's, a, that's kind of an art to master, to find that still point within your heart. And be able to observe without reacting to or being in interaction in an interaction with reaction. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's something I can definitely play with. That's something that that I'm playing with as well, um, and it it becomes very valuable, if, not just for yourself but for other people, because if you are the still one in the room. That gives everyone else in the room the choice to become just as still as you. Mm. You know, re- reaction goes both ways. So if people are in reaction and you're in reaction, then everybody, it's like a chain reaction. And people just kind of feed off each other and kind of go into a, a weird little hysteria moment. Mm-hmm. But if you can be the still point, that gives people the choice to step out of reaction. I like that. And I think you. I think that's where we're headed in the world. The the people the the people that are still that have a calmness that have a presence about them, those are the people that will manage themselves effectively as the world shifts. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm relaxing from all of stuff. I guess. Good deal. Did I pick it up or? Um, you just whenever you're in a dense environment, you. You personally, I noticed that you kind of almost go out of body. Yes, that's what it feels like. So going out of body is kind of your your way to not feel it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the halfway point between relaxing and then also attempting to be present. So mm-hmm. your your body is there. You know you have to be there. And then you kind of go out of body a little bit. Um, I actually enjoy that. Like, I don't mind that. Yeah. So I think that's why it happens. Yeah. And then you notice right when you are away from that environment, you come back to yourself. You can yes. you can allow yourself to be more in your body at that point. Yeah. So. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Yes.